Hey everyone, Tanner here. So today I want to talk to you about the movie The Matrix and how it resembles the world that we live in today. So if you don't know the movie The Matrix, there, the idea is that we are living in a construct and we're being programmed or essentially we're living in a program and we are not living the life that we really would be living. We are actually being sucked dry of energy. And the reason why this correlates our real world is that there's the ruling class, you know, whatever you want to call them, the deep state, the cabal, um, the elite, uh, secret societies, part of government, that are actually, know exactly how our minds work. They use sub um, subliminal messages and repetition to reprogram our minds so we think a certain way, so we act certain ways. Uh, we are not taught anything about the subconscious mind in school. We're not taught about how to gain freedom from um, working a nine to five job, a slave job. We are not taught about anything really about that can actually help us in the world. We're not taught about how to actually eat healthy. We're not taught about all the pesticides that are attacking us daily. We're not taught about how most of the science that we are given in our lives are is paid for and manipulated through giant corporations and through big money so if you don't understand this then you're a lot like the people who are living inside the matrix now there's certain kinds of people in this world some people who are just don't know what's going on and think everything is going fine and that the government and that all the constructs there are, are here to save us and make us have a better life and make us healthier there's the people who know what's happening and choose to ignore it either because they are being offered money or because they are scared and then there's the people who have woken up and who are being called conspiracy theorists and are being attacked and they are the ones who truly are trying to wake up the world now you can take the red pill like they call it in the matrix or you can take the blue pill and go back to remember uh, living in this construct that you have no idea what's going on that no that you're not being assaulted on all ends so I'm gonna play the clip from the, mo the movie the matrix here so you guys can see what I'm talking about it's the one where Neo is dead and Trinity kisses him to wake up and I'll talk a little bit more about this clip and the kiss in just a moment after this clip one moment
Choice is an illusion created between those with power and those without. Alrighty there, so the second um, clip there that came out, I didn't necessarily mean to play, but it is a great clip as well, and it kind of explains more of what I was talking about. You know, we have so many choices in our life, but really the majority of our choices are choosing between this poisoned food or this toxic food or this product that has, you know, a harmful chemical in it or this product that has a harmful chemical in it. Um, I'd say now today there's a lot more healthy alternatives and products that are actually healthier for you, but there's also a lot of ones that are trying to manipulate you and make you think they are healthy when they are actually not. So it's really important to research the ingredients and things that you use or that are in your food or products. Now that clip I was talking about that I just played for you with um, where Trinity kisses him. So. I think you might have noticed that there were sparks that happened when she kissed him. Now I'm guessing most of you will understand that that was from the love between the two. Now the reason why this is important is that he never had the power to do this fight or to stop the evil that is occurring in the world or stand up to the programs before Trinity actually gave him a kiss. Now you can kind of think of this as a soulmate you know, giving you the power to stand up to the world. is a opposite gender kind of love interaction kind of thing where you become stronger because you have someone else you're fighting for and someone else giving you their power as well. I luckily have found this with my wife. Now, right after that, she tells him to stand up, get up. What she's kind of telling him to do is to stand up and fight you know the programming the the evil in the world and use his light to stop it right after that they start shooting bullets at him and he says no that's a, one of the most powerful world words you can say in today's day and age is no you can and i like to think of the bullets as the things we were talking about earlier the toxic food the programming, the manipulation through media, the negative influences, alcohol, drugs, coffee, cigarettes, all those things. Negative science that doesn't really tell you the truth. Our old, our fake history, our learnings that we learn in school that are actually false and didn't help us at all. Those are all bullets, and once you say no, and don't let them affect you anymore, then the programs really can't touch you anymore. Right after he said no, Agent Smith and those agents there are the programs coming at you that have been affecting you your whole life, and that have been holding you down your whole life. Once you realize what they are, and once you tell them no, you don't have the power over me anymore, you can actually rise up much easier, and it becomes so simple you see how he was just dodging their their punches and just acting like he didn't even use any energy for that is because once you don't give your energy away to the programming and to the negative and the evil in this world you're able to use that energy to fight and really the evil is no match for the light we've just been so manipulated that we don't allow our lights to shine in this world and it's really important that you remove all the toxic and negative influences in your life so your light can shine in this world and you can achieve what you want in this world and you can help others wake up and take the red pill then he goes into the program and destroys it himself I believe that all of us could do this and really what it takes is to work on yourself and get rid of all the negative and all the programming inside of you and then you can live a life that is full of energy and really a life that you want and not that is being programmed into your subconscious mind. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matrix and my explanation from it. If you have any comments or thoughts about it, 
about maybe what is holding you back or, you know, if you didn't really understand it and would like to talk about it more, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd love to speak to you guys about it and uh, facilitate, uh, facilitate a discussion about it. So um, once again, this is Tanner, guys, and have a great day.